Hello guys, and this is my tier list of the male uh, playable Pokemon characters. And they turned out to be a lot more like diverse in the rankings uh, than the girls. And I decided to do like more of them because I think they had more differences to them. Because if you looked at the girls, I don't think there was any female playable character that's like below a C. I think it was all C and higher. Uh, which is kind of like passable to good. I don't think there were any bad ones. Well, in the male ones, there are some bad ones. Should we start from the bottom to the top, maybe? No, 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 let's start with the good. And they also ranked in the tier list and also from left to right. So, for example, uh, Brandon right here. I think the Emerald. Brandon looks so good, and I think he's better than Red. Uh, but they're still both S tier. Brandon, I really like how the model looks in game. I love, uh, you know, the headband, and also in my mind, <coughs> that's not a hat. It's his hair. Like I always thought it was a hair, but now when I know it's a hat. Uh, in my mind, it's still hair uh, for Brandon in Emerald. I like this change of the outfit. I also like that they are, when you're not playing them, they are the professor's assistant. And I also like that Brandon is a bit different from May. Uh, they have slightly different dialogue when you talk to them, which is just a good little thing, you know. It's not a big difference, it's just a tiny bit that gives them like a bit more personality. Um, and that goes for both, you know, uh, of these. <coughs> so, I mean, I'm gonna do this pretty quick because I don't, I'm not as invested in the male characters as female ones. I love Brandon. And uh, when I play Emerald, I don't mind playing either the boy or the girl. I like switch between them because I think they're both great. Now, Red. I think Red is like... Great. I, I like how he looks. I like that he doesn't... I like that Ash doesn't look exactly the same. Obviously, Ash is based off Red. But I like that Red looks a bit more edgier. He looks a bit more... And I, I'm talking specifically this Red right here. I think they had like older Red here. That I decided not to use. Uh, because you don't play as older Red, this, so this is specifically just playable characters. But if older Red was here, he would probably be like in the C and D category. Because I don't really like how he looks. I think he loses some of his charms. And then in A tier, we have uh, Ruby and Sapphire Brandon. Yeah, he's in A. Like, for the positives that um, the Emerald one has, but I think his outfit and all that is a bit worse. Some of the facial features and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. it it's kind of like a cosmetic change for me. And I think the cosmetic change for Emerald looks a lot better than the original Sapphire and Ruby. Then we have the Gen 5 one. And uh, it's the first one, uh, like black and white. I like the like open hat with like the r rough hair. Uh, I think they really nailed uh, black and white uh, character designs, both the female and male one. It's the kind of same. I think the male and female one are like pretty much like sort of top like Pokemon designs. Well, especially the female one. I do think. Like, when you play those games, and you picked, let's say, the the, male, the female one. Maybe if you got, like, the male to be a bit more involved in the story, maybe he could be above uh, Ruby. And I think he would get to S, because I don't think the design is at that point. Like, if, if the design is, like, amazing and great, it's kind of only, it's on A. There has to be like something like special, like a little bit extra, to have a hard time explaining that puts it on S. 
Uh, and that's not just the side, it's like the personality when you play, the in-game models, just... Mwah. Then you have gold. And I think gold is a great um, protagonist after red. Uh, after you played red, then for to see like okay, who's the Jota one, I think gold is a great predecessor. Uh, he kind of has some of the same vibes as red does, without feeling the same with the hats and you know with the gold and the silvers. I mean, he is from gold and silver. Yeah, he also has a little bit of the smugness, I guess, that Red has, which I really like in like the earlier protagonists. I will say they kind of started losing that around Gen 3, but Gen 3 ones, you know, they gained a bunch of other things. So, to me, that's fine. But I don't really have much more to say of them. I like him. Now, in B tier, we have Scarlet and Violet. I think that is the Scarlet and Violet one, and I think he's pretty good. I think he does a good job representing, you know, and you know, just the exchange, is it ex not exchange student, but like the border school student, and you know, I think some of the outfits were pretty fun, and I liked, I mean, but the thing that's holding it back is, you know, the 3D environment, like, I really liked the sprite works and all that. And I do think because of the fact that well you can change outfits. I think like the basics and of all the outfits are kinda of like a bit worse because they don't maybe like don't spend as much time on each individual outfit because well you can change, right? So you don't really have to make them like perfect. And I also just think like the whole thing with Nemona really helps. Um, the Scarlet and Violet protagonists. Then we have the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And I don't know, I think he looks, I think he's a good uh, reimagination of Red. He doesn't really have the ed like, he has some of the edginess, but not the ones that I want, you know, the, with the sharp, with the sharp lines. And that's because, well, the game he's in, right? It isn't a very sharp game. It's kind of like where I am, where I feel about that. It's kind of like, eh, he's a good reimagination, but it's still like a few tiers below the original. I don't, I don't think it's bad. And then we have Heart Gold and Soul Silver Gold. And it's the same, I think it's a fine, Another good, but a fine reimagination of gold. Uh, I just think he loses his, again, his edginess, the sharper lines, he looks more soft, uh, he looks less smug, and when you play it, he doesn't feel as, uh, you know, like, demanding in a sense. That's pretty much just it, you know. And also the hat. I think the original gold's hat, I like that the the orange part is a lot more like a darker orange and it's bigger rather than a shorter, you know, yellow that's a bit more... He looks a bit more washed out in a sense. And also he does look a bit older I'd say, but not in like a good way. I like, you know, that ah, in gold you're just a young kid going around, you know, this like older uh, Japanese style region and that's like filled with crime now yeah, you lose some of the adventure at the, I think with the new protagonist uh, like when you think about it in my mind and then we have gen 4 male protagonist which I don't remember his name it's the opposite of Dawn like it's one that I would like I got the likelihood of me playing as him is pretty low. I, had, I do play as him from time to time if I play a Gen 4 game, just to switch it up from time to time. I don't know, I, I don't really like it. And I do think this specifically the the Platinum outfit right here, which I think is better than the original, which is why the original, like, Pearl and Diamond is in D tier. 
Like, I mean, I do like, like, okay, the jacket and the scarf gives him a little bit more personality. Uh, but he's very bland otherwise. And then we have fire red and leaf green. And I think that is a worse reimagination of red from the original games. I do think the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee games did it better. Uh, because it's the same here. They, they feel like they aged him up a few years. They made him a bit more less edgy. Uh, I don't like that his hair isn't as black. He has more of like a grey hair. Like the skin tone. Eh. I don't like the outfit as much. I really don't like the hat. But that is all in comparison to the original. If I put him in a vacuum by himself, he was a C. But if I was gonna be like... Oh man, in comparison to the original, he might even border on like a high D. Yeah, but I decided to put him in low C. Because if I don't compare him to the original or even another reimagination of the original, yeah, he, he's, he's in C. You then have the Black 2 and White 2 games of Gen 5 protagonists. One thing I really love about Gen, Gen 5 is that when they made another game for that, made it so the game was set like a few years after the original. It wasn't just, you know, like an upgrade to the original game, like how it used to be like yellow, or platinum, emeralds, and stuff like that. It was a completely new game, a new story, new protagonists, like very cool. And the Phoebe one looks great, Rosa looks great. But this guy, the fact that I don't even remember his name, and I don't really like him, how he looks. I think he's just a worse, a lot worse version of the original one. While the girls, they look different from black and white, like black and white and black and white too. They look different, you can tell like, ah, that's a different girl. Here, I can it's hard to tell if it's a different boy, it is a different boy, uh, but it's hard to tell, they look a bit too similar, maybe if they made him like blonde or something, like something, he looks way too different, he looks just like the original protagonist, they got like less edgy. We then have Kalos, Generation 6, I think his name is Callum? I think. Uh, so, I mean, I rem I kind of remember a name. Uh, but it's kind of like the same for the female Serena, for me. It feels very bland. I don't like the personalities uh, of that character. Yeah, he doesn't feel like they do anything. Like, I don't really like the in-game model either. Um, some of the outfits, I don't even remember liking, you know, like, there's a lot of, like, just negatives, negatives, negatives. Which is sad, because, I mean, it's just in France, you know. I like the region of Kalos, uh, but I don't really like the characters in Kalos. Um, and that's why Kalos is in D. Then we have the Soul Silver. No, 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 one more thing. I already talked about this guy. Uh, this is the... Oh, why did I say Soul Silver? Maybe because it's the Gen 4 game. Yeah, but this is the Diamond and Pearl version and of, you know, Gen 4. And, eh, what I said about the Platinum one, but worse. Then we have the F tier. And we start off with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. What did they do to you, Brandon? What did they do? The reason why this character is in F, I mean, it probably should be in C, maybe even high D, but because they ruined like my favorite character, obviously they're kind of like doing a mixture of like the platinum and the ruby and sapphire protagonists into one like i look at the hat it looks way more like like a hat now than just some cool white hair um it's like drooping i don't like the headband 
I don't think the outfit matches with him. You know, with that headband. If the headband was green, maybe it would help a bit more, but I don't like the design on it. It's just nothing positive. I have nothing positive about the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Brandon. And so that's why he's an F. Uh, we then have the Galar. <coughs> no, no, not Galar. Uh, this is the <coughs> Sun and Moon. And yeah, completely boring to me. And also, like, when you get to see that character so much in the cutscenes. I don't care, I think the fact that it's awful, and I think the fact that the games have so much cutscenes showing an awful design makes me just feel like, oh god, I feel like sick uh, looking at the Sun and Moon protagonist. And then we have, uh, oh god, uh, Galar, here we go, which I think is the worst uh, protagonist. And think about all the negatives I've said about every single character, and I put it on him. And uh, that's my opinion of the Galar one. And they have the same problems that Sun and Moon have. Too many cutscenes. Like, I don't want cutscenes in Pokemon games. Uh, especially not as much as we're getting. Um, yeah, I don't like the outfits really that you're getting. And in uh, the Gen 6, no, Gen 7, Gen 8, Gen 8, Jesus Christ. Uh, the Gen 8 games, I feel like no personality from him, and just awful. So, yeah, that is my tier list. What is your guys' tier list? I'm actually curious. Or, like, you don't have to tell me, like, all of them, but, like, what are your, like, top two, maybe top three playable male characters in the Pokemon universe? Um, I mean, these guys might switch like that, now when I'm looking at it a bit more. I think maybe something like this looks a bit better. Yeah, I think something like this looks a bit better as my top five. But I do think, you know what, there's seven good designs, three mediocre, and six bad. So, you know, it's not terrible.